first studio show of the season is Hans Werner Henze's El Cimarron. And now, I'll admit right up front, it's not an easy show. And it's not an easy show because it talks about a really difficult aspect of our own humanity, that being slavery. Um, the show El Cimarron relates to the escaped slave Esteban Montejo and his true autobiography, or his true biography. Um, El Cimarron, during the Cuban independence, was the nickname for escaped slaves. And when Esteban escaped, he, he hid for years in the woods, hoping not to be recaptured. So as you can imagine, it's not a show that talks about very easy subject matter, but it's a show that will forever change you. Um, it's one that I believe truly embodies this idea of revolution and freedom that we're talking about. But it does it in a way that really takes us to a place where I don't know that we all go on a regular basis. It talks about a serious aspect of our humanity, and it makes us really look back at our history in a way that's questioning, and I think is really important. My name is Eugenia Arsenis. I'm director and dramaturg. I was born in Athens, Greece. I studied directing and dramaturgy at the University of London, pursued my postgraduate research in philosophy, and completed my PhD in philosophical aesthetics, opera, and Greek tragedy. Moreover, I did part of my research in musical analysis and opera directing at Boston University and also studied film directing at the New York Film Academy. I have collaborated with international institutions such as the Royal Albert Hall, the San Francisco Opera Center, the Great National Opera, the Center for Contemporary Opera, among others. I was very excited to hear that the Center for Contemporary Opera collaborates this season with the Skylight for the production of Hans Werner Hentz's El Cimarron. Having worked with the Center for Contemporary Opera, I have experienced the friendly mentality and professional conditions of the company. I was very happy to discover the same with all my communication with the Skylight team, a great environment of work and creation. I would also like to point out that I find very significant the fact that the skylight for the season 2013-2014 explores the ideas of freedom and revolution. It is crucial to convey the importance of those issues, especially these days. El Cimarron is a great choice. The opera is based on the real story of Esteban Montejo. El Cimarron, which means a runaway slave during the War of Independence. This is the late 19th century. In the mid-60s, the ethnologist Miguel Barnett meets Esteban and writes a great book on his life. Apart from the content of the operatic work, which discusses highly important matters like oppression, injustice, racism, the music alternates between singing and recitative. It is the musical excellence of Hans Werner Henze and the poetic language of Hans Magnus Enzersberger, who writes the libretto. This opera has a specific significance to me. Back in 2005, I staged El Cimarron for the Greek National Opera. Back then, I decided to look for Miguel Barnett. I finally found him and we met in Paris. It was a really fascinating man who told me many stories about Esteban. It is a challenge for me to approach the work again with a different maturity, working with collaborators from two different companies, and Miguel knows already about it. So I'm very much looking forward to working on the project and see you all in Milwaukee.